Hey everyone, it's Steph. Welcome back to another vlog of mine. I feel nice and fresh. I just had a shower. I'm actually, the first couple of clips you're about to see after I finished talking to you here was from before right now. I was looking a little rough. I didn't even really show myself in them. Oh, you'll see. Just want to say hi. I hope everyone's doing good. This I spent our last night, was our first night in this house that we're renting. And yeah, it's been good. I'm getting nice and settled. We... It's like, it is a lot to move and we have a lot of little stuff and clothes and toys and blah, blah, blah. But uh, we were able to leave some stuff at my mother-in-law's. It wasn't too much to put away and get settled into here is what I'm trying to say. Before I get into the vlog, I just wanted to say really quick, I thought I actually recorded this to put in the last vlog, but like I forgot. But I just want to say, I am going to be documenting our house hunting journey as much as possible and definitely sharing it. But I am going to be sharing a little bit more after the fact or after we hear back from certain things after we have more of an official answer, more so of a definite situation. Just because I shared something in like two vlogs ago and the moment I hit publish on that vlog, a bid came in for that house and like kind of basically outbid us essentially. We didn't want to pay, we didn't want to bid any higher for that house in particular. I'll explain more in the future. And I know that's like, I don't know, superstitious of me or like worrying about jinxing things. I don't know. I don't know the right word, but basically I kind of am worried about like jinxing stuff. And then that happened and it was just funny because it was literally, I literally like I'll have a vlog ready and I'll upload it. Sometimes I'll be waiting like till later in the day or till the next day to hit publish. And the moment I hit published, publish, <laughs> Gary came downstairs and was like, oh, a bid just came in for blank on that one house. I already felt a little bit funny about sharing things like in the moment in real time. Not that I'm gonna like hold off that much. Okay, anyways, let's get into it. I will see you guys in the next clip. Okay, I just brought the snacks, like non-refrigerated food and stuff over and our little bins. I love having these for the cupboards, even though they do actually end up getting messy and unorganized as well. It's still a little helpful. I am just organizing some of these. Might be guys. Chia seeds. I've been saying I'm going to make like an overnight oats. I have this thing of over, or not over the oats, oats here, and chia seeds, and, and then I also bought this honey, and I have oat milk to do a overnight oat situation, and I keep forgetting. Anyway, yeah, that's that, and then, here, crazy. I never tried my mac and cheese, I should that in a few vlogs back, I keep forgetting about it, I have to do that soon. I love it. And then we also have this larger one that I keep, um, you know, bags of chips and popcorn and stuff like that. I am about to install this shower head. I just took it with me. And it's supposed to filter like the hard water, the lime scale, you know, certain things that you don't want that's dripping. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna hook it up. It's so easy. I will show you how quick it is. So you just take that one off and it just goes on and on. That simple. There's like oftentimes like, I don't know, at least a good bit of line scale in the water. Um, I don't know if it's like different per area. Um, there's whole entire home filtration systems in Ireland, which I would like look into doing that one day, but I think obviously that could get pricey. To be honest, look, I like the water pressure and the way that it performs. I don't know if I noticed a huge difference in my hair, but like for the money and because I like the way that it's like pretty powerful and stuff, you know, I just stick with it. I have a quick shower. We got a little package today. It's actually, I showed that I picked this up when I was in Galway. I got it at Brown Thomas. Uh, it's like a body mist, uh, but I kind of just use it as a perfume. I don't really know what the difference is, obviously. You spray them both just to, you know, smell nice. Uh, this was like 32 euro, so, and it's really large. So it's, it's kind of affordable if you're using it as a perfume. I don't know, like as far as body mists go, 
it might be a little bit on the pricier side. It's the Sol de Janeiro. You might have heard of the, the for famous bum bum cream. People love that. Then I got this. I have used this before and then I used it again when my friend Megan was here. Uh, yeah, it's just super group sunscreen. It's unique in its texture. It's kind of like a silicone primer if you haven't tried it, but I've been really good about um, wearing my sunscreen lately. So, oh, actually something else I want to show you. I thought these were so cute. These pajamas I got for myself today from Penny's. Um, yeah, Penny's is pretty affordable as I've shared or as you might know. I went one size bigger. Um, they are a tiny bit loose like on the upper portion, but I like my pajamas loose. I was looking a little washed out. Anyways, I don't know. I just thought it was cute. I like these little details and this like ribbed material. And I tried them on and I'm really excited to wear them later. So I love treating myself to pajamas. Also got the girls pajamas. This is a two set. So like two for 12 euro. Yeah, they're, you know, like, you know, uh, long sleeves and pants. That's what I'm trying to say. And I got, yeah, Molly, basically the same kind of thing, different, um, you know, pattern. Listen, I sometimes like wondering if people want to call me out because like in a vlog a couple months ago, I was like, oh, I'm trying to be conscious of my consumption and fast fashion and stuff. And then I feel like in every vlog, I'm showing like a handful of things that I purchased, but I guess I never said I wasn't going to stop shopping. And I do understand the downsides of fast fashion and I do think it's important to get better and better and be conscious of the downsides. But, uh, you know, life is expensive and, you know, it's it's hard sometimes to afford otherwise anyways and kids grow out of things and stuff and yeah sometimes i need new jammies and i like getting new jammies myself sometimes there's a little something interesting um a lot of dryers in ireland well i don't know if i should say a lot but like more than not I, I don't even know if they're in the states i had not ever seen one before but they're called condenser dryers so they don't they're not like hooked up to like an outdoor like ventilation or anything so you have to take out the water tank. Um, I was just checking mine. I think, well, yeah, I mean, it, it can obviously be emptied. It probably could hold a little bit more, but I was, yeah. Yeah, you just have to dump that out and put it back in. Something easy, but you know, different. So yeah, she's nice and empty now. Just gonna do that. Boom. Oops. Sorry. Yeah, I love having me a dryer. Um, the one we like, at my mother-in-law's she had a washer that was like a two-in-one but it just dried in the weirdest fashion it like wasn't a tumble dryer it like just spun the clothes like really fast almost like it does in the washing cycle to like wring them out but it used heat but it took a long time i don't know it, it, it wasn't it's i didn't like it and it was like really small it was the size of a small washer so like even if you did a load of towels like they would be so creased and i love having it's a laundry room because when I have the clothes horse and these clothes drying in here with the dryer on, if I leave the door cracked, um, it kind of traps the heat in there a little bit. So the clothes that are hanging on the clothes horse dry considerably quicker. And it's really handy because at my mother-in-law's, I would notice that like, I felt like the clothes took so long to air dry. It's the little things, but I really appreciate it. Hey guys, um, we just got home. I was picking up Molly. I, I don't know if I said this, but I kept Kiva home from school today because she wasn't feeling the best. I think it's just a change of weather thing because we're all experiencing it. So yeah, she slept in so late. Like I could tell she needed it, but she doesn't feel too bad. I took Kiva with me really quick and we did go to air. It's a, like an internet phone, you know, TV. Yeah, yeah, service and uh, like cable. Um, so we got a little tower modem thing set up. It's not broadband, but like we can't get broadband in this rental because we don't want to drill holes in the wall or anything. So we did. I don't. I don't know what it's called, but yeah, it's like a SIM card with just mobile data, but um, at like higher speeds or something. Anyways. So we're using that, and the good thing we did have to do a year contract, and we're only gonna be here for a, two or three months, but we can just transfer over the kind of service that we want. Because yeah, we'll obviously want to be getting broadband for our own home whenever we do move in. 
well, whenever we get one <laughs> and move into it. Uh oh, we don't wanna fall because you guys are in a risque position. I love hanging my clothes to dry. I mean, I love the dryer for certain things too, especially towels and bedding, but you know, I just feel like it helps the longevity and the quality of your clothes. Anyways, yeah, we went with Air. Um, We have Vodafone for our cell phone service and we have, oh no, and we had Vodafone for the internet when we were living here, not their broadband, but the same thing, like the little data SIM card just for internet. I don't feel like I feel super impressed with Vodafone, but maybe it just depends. Maybe certain brands have like better coverage in certain areas, I don't know. Long story short, I'm happy to be trying out um, Air. And actually the guy said like, we are on um, a contract with our Vodafone for our cellular, but when that ends, if we do have air for broadband, we can add our cell phone on and it's 10 euro a line for unlimited calls, text, and data. Like that's crazy. You don't pay anything too expensive now, but still that's like really great. Yeah, I'm getting excited because even though we're like still in the very early stages of being mortgage approved and going to viewings and stuff, you know, it's just, it feels like we've come a long way. Like we, we are close. Like there's light at the end of the tunnel as the saying goes. I don't think I said this, but um, okay, listen. Have you ever tried the airy leggings? Oh no, that's from, I have the airy crossover leggings. They were like viral on TikTok. I have more pairs than I would like to admit. Actually, when Abby was coming over, I had her bring me a few things. I actually thought of other things afterwards. I wish I would have had her brought, but like I was just excited to see her and I, I just, nothing was popping into my head but I had her bring me over a large container of ranch seasoning and a container of the Ollie sleep gummies, like the melatonin from Target, and then one pair of the um, Airy crossover leggings, which I was I was still ultimately mad at myself because I like the Airy crossover leggings in the long length and you can only get those online. And I thought about it two last minutes, so she only had time to go to the store. If you like your black leggings, I love those leggings. Well, I'm gonna finish hanging out these clothes. I like to hang them out here in the hallway and then push it into the laundry room. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go set up the internet on the computer, on an old phone of mine that I let my daughter use for texting her American family. And yeah, that's about it for now. Okay, and I did a mini super little random. Dunn's haul today. I'm actually, I am excited about this because I think it's the first time I've seen oat milk that's vanilla flavored and I love that for my coffee. The kids love these. I actually should have picked up a couple packs. Zip and seal bags, coffee. Also a little bit excited about this because it's like a larger bag, which I don't know, in America things come really large size, but not so much here. I also feel like instant coffee is more popular here and there's not as big of a selection for ground coffee. Brush. Gloves, love these for doing the dishes. I mainly like wanna keep my nails in better shape. Couple packs of these wipes, dishwashing tablets, dish soap, and these little tablets for heartburn because my husband will randomly get it and then he'll always be like, I wish we had some of these on hand and we never do and now we do. Also, I got this sandwich right here. It's like Dunn's, like a fresh prepared kind of near the deli section. If you are living in Ireland and you ever shop at Dunn's, I recommend trying this. It was the BLT. It was just, I don't know, something about it was so tasty. This is the spot where I made my two initial larger uh, YouTube videos about moving to Ireland. But anyways, um, I'm just sitting on my computer. just got it connected to the internet. It's really nice because like in the evening, um, I like to, like I can come up here and watch Netflix on the computer here i'll show you yeah so it's set up just there and you know it got the bed we don't really need more than one like tv or computer or you know way to watch movies and shows like we've just had one really for a while and that's fine like with us but anyways still kind of nice having that as an option i'm coming on here to let you know that i'm out of here for this vlog sorry if my content's like a little boring lately i don't know i feel like i'm kind of in a slump like i like doing it but I don't know, I just, you know, sometimes my day-to-day -day life's like not too exciting, but I don't know. I'm happy with my life, I, uh, I'm really grateful. I do like documenting this journey and we are at actually one of the most exciting parts since we've moved over here, being able to look for a home. I've just, I'm not sharing too much of that yet, but I will. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channels, 
my channels. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you do like watching my video, maybe you don't like watching my videos. Maybe you've just watched one and you're like, this girl sucks. Well then not you, but if you come back time and time again and you like watching my video, then you should hit the subscribe button because it kind of helps me out. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.